In last week's episode, we met Kiana, who just wanted to go a couple shades richer with her hair color and ended up almost lighter and a little bit orange. To see what happened there, you can click the link below. In this episode, we are seeing what Chloe is up to. Chloe tried to tone her hair with a violet toner and it didn't really do anything. So we are going to discover together why that didn't work. If you have never seen my face before, welcome. My name is Shannon. I'm a hairstylist and industry educator out of rural Midwest, Illinois. I have been in the field since 2008 and along with being licensed, I also hold an applied science degree in cosmetology. So let's see if I can use all of that to help out Chloe. And play. Uh, I'm dying my hair on camera. So, <laughs> I already know this is dyed my hair blonde. My hair is really brassy. I decided today that I would come on camera and try and tone it. So, so in hair color, you can really boil it down to only being able to do three things. You can either go lighter, go darker, or tone. Toning, in essence, isn't meant to lighten or darken hair color at all. It's only meant to enhance or correct the tone. But I was down to super dark. I've got myself kind of free to blonde, permanent hair tone over this. Right. Maybe I should have gone gray. So a little bit of color correction info for ya. We discovered in a previous episode that to get a balanced brown, you need one part blue, two parts red, and three parts yellow. So if you have yellow hair, then you're missing the blue and the red, so you would add violet to it. If you have orange hair, then you already have the yellow and the red present and you need to add blue to it. And if you have red hair, then you're missing the yellow and the blue, so you need to add green to it. I'm unfamiliar with this brand and its undertone, but she said in the video that her hair is going to appear blue in just a few seconds we'll be able to see the tone. And it is more of like a violety blue color, which should be great because she has yellow and orange present in her hair. So let's find out what happens. So I attempted to dampen my hair. Lovely, gently, sugar and pepper. episodes that the end result of hair color will always be a combination of what the hair was reflecting currently and the artificial dyes that you put on top. Unless you're going lighter, then it's a whole other complicated story. When mixing colors, the darkest color will always overpower the lighter color. You may put a violet toner on top of yellow hair, which would be the right color, but if the violet isn't the right level, then it may not be strong enough to overpower the yellow and level just means the lightness or darkness of a color. So that's the struggle of the level being wrong. But what if you get the level right, but the tone is wrong? I have seen a lot of violet toners be put on top of orange hair, and it can almost make it look worse. Here's why. Orange is red and yellow, and violet is blue and red. So when you put violet on top of orange hair, you're giving it the blue that it needs, but you're also giving it an extra dose of red. You've got red coming in from both sides. The hair is giving you red and you're giving red back to the hair. So the end result will have a rosy undertone. So what was your biggest takeaway from today's video? I would love to know the number one thing that you're always gonna remember. Leave it down below for me. Congratulations, you made it all the way to the end of the video. To celebrate, I am going to answer last week's question where I asked you who you thought my celebrity doppelganger was and I told you that I have one girl that comes up all the time and that is Lucy Hale. I'll insert some side-by-side -side pictures right here. I used to get Selena Gomez a lot but as soon as PLL came on the scene it was all Lucy Hale. That is all the fun I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and we'll chat later. Bye!